This is Cesar Costa from House Master Home Inspections. And today, let's talk about termites. Termites are here in Central and South Florida. It's Orlando, Broward, Palm Beaches, Miami. They love the heat and humidity. And they're very important because they cause a lot of damage. The United States spends about $5 billion dollars with prevention, control, and repairing damages of termites. So there are basically two types of termites. There are the subterranean termites and dry wood. Let me start with subs. Subterranean termites are very aggressive. They live outside of the property and they travel back and forth every day. So they're very fast and also they eat very fast. They eat against the grain of the wood and they create significant damage. In only few weeks, they can affect the structure of the property. Take a look in this case here. We did an inspection in this property and just four or five weeks after the inspection and the entire ceiling felt. That's because the termites were eating the joists of the ceiling. And very quickly, in just a few weeks, they affected the structure, the support of that ceiling. All the joists were compromised. They are living in a tree nearby. They start to travel back and forth and they affected the house. So the best way to prevent and control subterranean termites are base stations. Base stations are installed underground around the perimeter of the property. And they work to control and prevent the whole system. Because usually a house is infested by several colonies and one colony can infest several houses. So let's move to dry wood termites. Those are the most common. 95% of the cases or more, we found dry wood termites. It's a completely different game. So everything starts the border of the house in the fascia and soffits. Either there was a small roof leak or the fascia was not well maintained. That very soft pine wood is start to get with moisture, rotten as a magnet for termites that attract termites. So it takes a lot of years, five, ten years for them to travel throughout the attic and start to create some damage. So they act very slowly. But the thing is that you don't know that they're there. And after 10 15, 20 years, they will affect the structure of the house. So the key sign of dry wood termites is pellets, is termite fresh. It's called the termite droppings. It's uh, the result of what they eat. From so the best way to, to inspect for termites is stepping and probing in the attic and trying to find those uh, the signs of fresh. So now, in terms of prevention and control, a lot of people use tenting for control. Tenting is interesting because the gas goes everywhere, even in small places, and it's going to kill them. But we have found is they tend to come back because usually if you have a high infestation, a big infestation, termites are going to be in, around the house, in the neighbor uh, properties. There is another way for dry wood termites control and also prevention to avoid them to come. We like the liquid treatment, so we spray the raw perimeter, especially in the soffit face of ventilation, that's the entry point, and we spray the attic, the trusses, the poles, the roof deck, it's where 90% of the time they are. The liquid penetrates deep in the wood and stays in the wood for many years, so that avoid them to come back, prevents and control much more effectively. So my recommendation is always when you have a property inspection, have a termite inspection done. Also, uh, if you find presence of termites, the first question that you need to ask your inspector is what kind? A subterranean or dry wood? Because it serves, you need to be concerned. It's only 5% of the cases. Most of the cases is dry wood, Usually, that is not a big deal, and just spraying and foam will take care and is going to avoid them to come back. Right? So, if there is any termite found, 
just proceed with the treatment for prevention and control.